Hey friends, it's Ramona. Uh, welcome back. We're going to talk empties today. Mostly wax, but today I have a couple other things to add in the mix as well. So let's talk non-wax then. Uh, okay, I was on a roll. I did masks, sheet masks two days in a row. Um, I need to get back to it. But anyway, these came out of my Body Shop Advent calendar. Uh, there was a vitamin E quench sheet mask and vitamin C glow sheet mask. Um, I liked the vitamin E one better. I did, I love the scent of it and I did find it had a little more essence and my skin just felt a little more, I don't know, maybe a little more plumpy maybe. The vitamin E one has hyaluronic acid and the vitamin C one has enriched with vitamin C. So, you know. Anyway, so they were okay. They were okay. They had enough essence. As I said, vitamin he, E had a little bit more. They weren't overly full of essence. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me. I finished a laundry liquid from Sensi in pink cotton. Loved it. I have it in wax. Love it. I finished a Bath & Body Works foaming hand soap in winter, cent winter citrus wreath. Um, I've had this one a couple of times. I really like that one. Um, I pulled out my car bar from, um, uh, black raspberry vanilla. It was super strong. It was, if, I hate to say this, it was almost too strong, but it was really, really strong. There, I could probably get another week out of this and it was in there probably three to four weeks already. Very good, very juicy, very authentic to the wax. And what I put in was almond croissant. So good. I mean, within five minutes, the car was full of croissants. It was so good. It, this is in the clearance section. I told my, I went through the clearance section the other day. I made notes. I got offline. It's like, okay, do I really need any of this? Do I need it? Do I need it? No, I don't need it. So I didn't end up order anything. But if I were to go back into the clearance section, this is what I would get. I'm going to leave that out just in case. Okay, uh, I also finished a Sensi dryer disc. I think this was in, um, I think this was uh, Sensi Clean. I think this was Sensi Clean. Still a little bit left. Um, then the only other thing non-waxy, well, this is wax. I finished this Yankee Candle in Enchanted Moon. I... I was going to say that I really love the scent. I should have pulled up the scent notes, but I didn't. It's very warm, maybe a little amber in here, maybe a little sandalwood in here. It's really sultry. I just love it. So, um... You can see there's quite a bit of soot up there. Not happy about that. And I did trim the wicks, but it it burned clean other than the soot. I didn't have to, you know, cotton ball it or anything like that. Um, I do have to say that when it got down to about, I don't know, three quarters, two thirds down, the scent really dissipated. I could barely smell it because otherwise it was it's very strong. Anyway, so I did enjoy that one. And I do think I have one more in my cabinet. And I think that's it for that. So let's talk about some empty bags. Um, this was a sample from the Bathing Garden Leprechaun Mint. This was really, really good. I really enjoyed that. Summer Night from Rainbow Melts, an enchanting blend of aromic, aromatic herbs, masculine woods, and lingering citrus. This was nice too. It, it was kind of light. But it definitely was like a masculine, woodsy, but clean, not too cologne or anything. So I did enjoy that. If you like those kind of clean, masculine scents, I recommend Summer Night. It was really good. From Destination Wax, I melted Juniper Walk, which is evergreen juniper and fresh sweet mountain air. This has been a repurchase several times over. If you like green, fresh, outdoorsy, woodsy, you know, all of the above, um... That's a good one. And then from VCS, Pillsbury, which was salted caramel, green apple sugar, and cookie dough. Surprisingly, this was a little light. I had a hard time smelling this. And this was poured in 21, November of 21. So that's, what is that? Like 
four or five months ago, not that long ago at all. So that's kind of surprising. Although, um, in my experience, VCS, the longer it sits, the better it is. So maybe I pulled that too soon. Maybe I just should have let it go. I mean, you know, continue to let it rest. Okay, um, <coughs> pardon me. So I had pulled a green basket for March. So most of this is green. Um, and this was Southbound Farmhouse, which is fresh cedarwood, leather, sandalwood, exotic amber, and soft moss with clean musk. It's a little bag. Um, I like Southbound uh, Co. Oh, yeah, it was good. It was just kind of a, you know, so many notes in here. Am I picking out every single thing? No, but I just got a really nice, fresh, green scent, if you know what I mean. So there's just a little bit left in that. Um, from VCS, this was poured in November 2020. And this was Blow You Out of the House. Uh, Elves with Attitude, Cranberries, Green Apples, Orange Sherbet, and Ginger Ale. And there's a couple of chunks left in that. This was so strong that Ginger Ale came through with a punch. With a punch. You definitely knew there was something fizzy in the warmers. And it was really good. I'm going to leave that out because there's just a couple chunks left in that. Okay. From Rainbow Melts. This is not green, but... Most green things, I'm not going to say all, but most green things read green, clean, fresh, you know, like that. So sometimes you just need to switch it up. And so last Sunday, I believe, I pulled out Rainbow Melts Espressi and Cook, Espressi, Espresso and Cookie Heaven, which is Espresso, Gourmet Sugar Cookies, Danish Butter Cookies, and Vanilla Butter Fudge. This was poured in June of 2020, and it was a snap bar, which I love, and it still had great throw. I was very happy about that. So I'll um, put that, oh, these are empty over there. Okay, uh, this morning I wanted more coffee, so I pulled the Bathing Garden Wonderland Coffee Shop. I don't have the scent notes on this. It's not on the website, and this came with a little coffee pot or teapot, wooden little trinket there. Very, excuse me, very good, strong coffee. Um, then another non-green was DD Oud and Amber, which is vanilla bean and cedar. I love these DD melts. This was very, very, uh, more, it, the scent notes say vanilla bean and cedar, but it's amber. There was a lot of amber in here. It wasn't that bad. It was strong. I liked it. Um, I might repurchase this one, even though it is amber. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> um, let's see what else. Right now in the warmers I have, yesterday I spent almost all day, seriously, almost all day, I labeled each and every one of my Scentsy Clams because they won't put scent notes on the clam. And I even, consultants, we have an idea portal that we can send in ideas, which I did. It was like, no, we're not going to do that. Okay, then. So I did it myself. And I, you know, like I, you know how much Scentsy Wax I have, like bin after bin after bin. And then my nighttime bin. And then a box about this size that doesn't fit in the bins. So it took me all day. Not only did I do all my Scentsy ones, I thought while I'm at it. Let me do the bathing garden because they don't have scent notes either. And I think everything else that I have has scent notes. So going forward, whenever something comes in the house that doesn't have scent notes on it, I'm going to do it because we can see very clearly my memory sucks and I can't remember anything. And my sister tells me and Joshua tells me all the time too, both of them. My memory's awful. I know it is. So that's why I did that. So anyway, let's get back. Um, to this. So anyway, while I was doing all that, I came across one of my bricks, uh, sugar plum berry from I think two years ago, and it had a big hole in it. And I guess that happened in the move. I'm not sure. So I took it out and put it in a bag. Ev a sugar plum berry is spiced citrus peels, evergreen berries, sugar plums, and cinnamon sticks. And it is really, really good. If it were to come back again, I definitely would buy it, uh, sugar plum berry. And I wish they would bring it back in a little clam because sometimes I love bricks, but I don't necessarily want a big brick. So that's gonna go back. <coughs> also something that's going back that's not green as well. Every couple of days, like I can't do green today or in the evenings especially. I find green, the green wax green, fresh, clean in that family. I don't mind it in the day, but in the evening I do want something warmer 
little sultry, maybe cozy, maybe a little fall-like, whatever. <coughs> Pardon me. And the other day I melted in the evening soft cashmere and amber from Better Homes and Gardens. This is so good and so strong, so long lasting. I'm going to uh, the U.S. next week and I'm definitely going to pick up a couple of clams of this. It's really, really good here. And I don't know if this is all of Canada or just Nova Scotia, what I'm not sure, but we don't get better homes and gardens wax melts in our Walmart. So I definitely will be picking up some of those. Um, from the bathing garden, Mother Nature, and this was green and it had like little rose and little tchotchkes in there. And this is citrus, sweetgrass, meadow blossoms, birchwood, and crisp leaves. This was really good. I definitely got the birch wood with the leaves part of it, and it was quite yummy. Nothing whatever, also from the bathing garden, and this had a little mushroom in it, and oh, I can smell it. This was earthy wild mint and ivy topped with vanilla cream. So this was in the green family, ivy, you know, grass, fresh, clean, and, <coughs> pardon me, salty siren. I love this. I've had this before. It's from the... I always want to call it the mermaid collection, but it's not the mermaid collection, but it's like the summer collection, something like that. Um, the saltiest lime margarita fit for siren and it's exactly like, it's exactly like a lime margarita. If somebody blindfolded you and put a margarita under your nose, you would know exactly what this is. It is really, really good. Okay, and the rest is Scentsy. Um, apple cherry strudel. I needed some bakery from all the green and this is so good. This is in my club. I'm so glad it is. Granny Smith apple cherry and vanilla drizzle. And it, it, within five minutes, it's blowing. It's really, really good. Super strong. Uh, coconuts for coconuts. Coconuts for coconuts. And let me see. Yeah. <clears throat> coconuts for coconuts and pink rhubarb sugar uh, is coming up in tomorrow's Scentsy Saturday, I believe. I have a couple of Scentsy Saturdays already preloaded because I'm going to be out of town. Yes, yeah. Tomorrow, Scentsy Saturday is coconuts for coconuts and pink rhubarb sugar. Oops. Then, um, one evening, I melted Bonfire Beach, but it was green, so that was okay. Uh, toasted marshmallow, white flint, sandalwood, salty sea air, and ocean spray. And... When I did, when I was laboring all my wax the other day, yesterday, I noticed I think I only have one or two left. So I definitely need a few more of these, which would be a good reason, I guess, to go back into the, you know, uh, website and order. Okay, I since I will order a cover or two. Anyway, whatever. Bonfire Beach is like, Scent appeal, 9 out of 10. Throw, 10 out of 10. Love it. Can't go wrong. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, French Kiss. Also from, an, I was over the green. Sweet Fig, Coconut Pulp, Exotic Cedar, and Caramel. Now, I did, while I was doing this um, project, pull out French Kiss and Midnight Fig. Because I knew I liked both of them, but I knew I, li I liked one better. And I wanted to make sure I had the right one in my club. And between French Kiss and Midnight, Midnight Fig, I prefer French Kiss better. It's the, um, I think it's the exotic cedar and the fig. I don't know. It's very kind of warm and sultry. A little bit of coconut. Um, but I really, really love this. So I'm so glad it's in my club. Um, I melted Hey Tiger Lily. This is the scent of the month for... March, currently available, Wild Tiger Lily, Sugared Mandarin, Luminous Jasmine. I find this pretty heavy on the floral, not too much mandarin. I really wish there was more mandarin in here. It was okay. It wasn't over the top, but I not one of my favorites. From the Life's A Garden collection, I melted apple parsley. This was green. Fresh parsley, tart apple, and juicy pear. And it was kind of like I got a little bit of all of it. I definitely got a greenery note from the parsley. I got a little apple and I definitely got the pear too. So that was really nice. I really enjoyed that one. Uh, vitamin Inhale from the All Is Well collection, which is still available. And this is Fresh Mountain Air Wildflowers and Ferns. 
and I really like this. I, it says there's wildflowers in here. It's very light on the floral. It's just really kind of the fresh mountain air and it was really, really nice and clean and fresh and very spring-like. And then finally, Huckleberry Wreath, which was a green wax, even though the label is purple. Crimson red currants, huckleberry and frosted fir. Very tart, very huckleberry, that huckleberry note that's in a lot of scent, not a lot, but some Scentsy blends. It's the same one in here. So if you like those huckleberry tart notes, you'll get it in this. It's, it was really, really good. And I want to say, but I will not say it until I know for sure. Oh yeah, I was gonna say it's in the current catalog. It's not in the current catalog. It, it's, I'm thinking of, um, Huckleberry Sage, I think. Let me see, look here. <clears throat> I'm really, 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 really looking forward to going to see some sunlight. My head needs it. Yeah. No, it's not that. I didn't think it was. Okay. Okay, so that is it. Um for my empties. Um, Monday, there's two new releases and the join special is still on. It's $25. So definitely think about it, have a conversation. What could I do with a few extra bucks? Let me know. Talk to me. I will tell you. And then I feel like there's something else. but I can't think of it right now. So that's it for now, guys. I hope everybody's having a great Friday. Have a great weekend. Stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye.